Oh, we found a flashlight Not a flashlight Not a flashlight Hey guys, this is Slime Music and today we're gonna be playing Finger Bones. Yes, I know you can't see this text behind me, but I'm just gonna read it anyway. So Finger Bones was just released about two days ago or maybe yesterday. I'm not sure. I just downloaded it from Steam. It's for free. So this is a psychological horror game by David Zymanski. I can't pronounce that so I'm really sorry guys. It's saying that finger bones is intended to be completed in a single setting and there is no save function. Okay. So it is suggested that you set aside about half an hour to complete it. So that's like 30 minutes ish to exit visit the door you started at so i'm guessing that we're gonna start off in one door and that's basically like the start option thing and just gonna be like a finish line thing right and use wasd to move and the left mouse button to and in interact with the environment press escape to toggle the screen okay here we go i just put the game volume to 25 percent the most sensitivity because i don't want the game volume to be too loud and i'm hoping that there's no jump scares in here because I, I don't like jump scares or i never played horror games before guys and that's a quick fact oh oh gosh i think nope the most sensitivity is too fast for me so i'm just gonna put it 25 there you go so there's this is actually i'm just gonna fix my mic for a second there's actually a great Graphics, oh, cool. Oh, there's a door behind me, and there's like a bunch of cobwebs. The music's pretty creepy, guys. I think I'm gonna be shaking the whole time. How do you open this door? Yep, the monster sensitivity, sens sensitivity, sensitivity. So I believe it's around like four to five p.m. I'm assuming that, assuming whatever. I see I could see the sun and there's what is this where am I so I see some shelves is this a kitchen or perhaps an abandoned warehouse or I don't know a garage because eh. there's some bookshelves in here there's some cabinets there's some what kitchen tables and some knives too ah so we have stuff to read okay it's my weekend to get katie katie or kati whatever that is but i'm but i'm really not in the mood i distracted her with the tv and i and came here to read i couldn't interest myself in reading so i tried to write i couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories medication didn't help and divorce cer certainly didn't help because i am not depressed i am enlightened this is the result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical philosophical or what? Philosophical philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Uh, I'm bad at English so I didn't get that. So I think it's talking about the person, about not being depressed. Uh, okay, so here we have some knives. I can't pick it up. And some books. Some chairs oh what is this so we have some ah, there's another note it appears to be a page from a ma ma manuscript pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought if morality must be de de determined and i maintain that is a fair it should not be de determined that that determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined de pff, that determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and the uh, moral thus moral unless a concrete scientific reason can be given to prove them as immoral. Okay. I can't jump, wow. Is there gonna be any more notes around here? Probably. Oh, is this a TV? Yeah, we could watch. <gasps> Why did the music turn into like a horror, creepy sound? Am I gonna be stuck here forever, or is this like? Oh, I'm scared now. I don't trust that hole over there. 
What is this? Is this a window? <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh, we found a flashlight. Not a flashlight. Not a flashlight. Okay, so there's more cobwebs over here. How do you turn up the flashlight? So we're just gonna be walking around with that flashlight on all the time, right? Ah, oh, it's not a keyboard. I think it is a keyboard. What is this? Is that a lamp? I don't know what that is. So where do we have to go now? I'm confused guys. Oh, there's another note in here. When I was 15 years old, I lost my virginity. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal excitement yesterday night in the cellar. Uh, well, I'm also 15, so uh, I don't know what to say about that. Okay, is there gonna be any more notes around here? No. Ah! What up? So I just oh, what? I just exit out of the game. You're kidding. Um, where is it? Yeah, I know my desktop could be a little bit messy right now. So finger bones, where are you at? Finger bones, please. Oh gosh, I don't know where it is now. Oh, and there you go. It's beside the Doritos. Oh, well, we're back in the same thing. Okay, guys, if you guys want to play this game, don't click on the door. Uh, now we need to get the flashlight. Oh my gosh. I believe the flashlight is like all the way over there. And we're just gonna read this out. Note for now. Again. No, we're just gonna look at it. There you go. Oh. Okay, glitch. Glitch inbound. Oh, oh, here you go. Here's the flashlight. Yay. So what are we supposed to do now? Oh, never mind. It's not a TV. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in my survival bunker. But whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She's like her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. So here we have some hints about the Adorla code. It's her daughter's name. So we have to find the daughter's name. Oh gosh, now we have to read. Uh, I don't wanna read. Okay, oh it's Katie, okay, Katie. Yeah, Katie. So now where do we have to- Oh, what is- Oh, there's a button! I didn't see that earlier. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that then. Please open the door. Ah, uh, what is this for? I can't even jump. Turn off. Turn off. You're too loud. You're, you're like making a sound. I don't know what to do. Um. Okay. Please. What are you supposed to do? Uh, I'm not gonna go to that door again. I'm just gonna exit off the game and I have to restart everything. Is there any buttons around here? <gasps> oh, this thing is turned on now. Oh, oh, oh! So this is a keyboard. I was right for the first time. Katie. Oh, I was wrong. Katie. Oh, you're kidding. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh. It appears to be a uh, uh, no Katie. Nope, I don't think Katie is the right answer. Get Katie, but I'm running away. I'll distract her with a TV and came. It is Katie. What are you talking about? Katie, or let's see. Hmm, nope. Hmm, hmm, this is not even a horror game. This is more of like a solve the mystery game. Hmm. Katie, please. Um, no. Kate. No. Katie. Katie. No. Katie. Katie! I think the, the door. Well, whenever I type Katie, there's like this beep sound. And whenever I type like another Katie, it doesn't make a sound. What is that supposed to mean? I'm just gonna check this door for a second. I don't like that sound at all. <gasps> oh gosh, no. <sighs> Can we go back? Oh, we could. I don't feel like playing this game at all. And I'm too close at this, to the screen. <laughs> okay, we have to man up here. Okay, this is just a game. <laughs> And I'm shaking right now, okay. 
uh, this is my first time ever playing a horror game, okay? So it's it's yeah, it's finally happened. The whole world is a chaos of thunder and screams. And when the ashes settle, we will be able, we will all we we will all be wild animals again. Like an animals, animals. I'm sorry, guys. Music just helps me every day. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started and I have and I have no idea what to do with her. Most of the town is dead. Katie and I only survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I've needed. Freedom from all the irrational rules and inane social values. Just pure beautiful survival. So I don't think this is a horror game. It's more of like a survival apocalyptic game with some mental disorder stuff this is the bunker what am i supposed to do? oh there's another one here i boxed up everything that isn't practical and useful i burned all the books that weren't i heard a voice i burned all the books that weren't for scientific edification i'd like to store the boxes in the cellar but i can't get them down the ladder by myself and just pad them up near the hatch. Wait, wait, wait. The blood would probably ruin them anyway. Can I please go here? Or here? Uh, what am I supposed to do here then? Uh -huh. Oh, there's another one over here. Oh, okay. The two room has been her name for years now. And I can't bring myself to change it. So there's another hint right there. The two room is Katie. Katie, whatever. Katie. Katie Perry. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to go here. Nope. I don't think I'm supposed to go here. So this is like the basement. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. There we go. So we're supposed to go to the tool room. Oh, I think that's a tool room. If it's not, how come there's a hole in here then? What's the point of this hole? There's no point of this hole in the wall. You know, hole in the wall, it's a TV show, okay? I don't, I don't know what to do, seriously. It says that it's only gonna take me like 30 minutes to finish this game. And it's taking me like an hour already. So are we supposed to press this again? I don't think we're supposed to press that once again. I think we're supposed to go back downstairs. I don't like this game, it's so um, grainy and dark. Can we go here at all? Please, uh, I don't know what to do. The true has been her name for years now and I can't bring myself to change it. Can we crouch? Uh, nope, nope, no, okay. I think we have to go back to the keyboard thing once again. Oh, never mind. Uh, uh, now we have to go back upstairs once again. Hmm, I'm going back to the keyboard place. Uh, and why is there no lights in here? How can and how can there's like a light downstairs? So we're gonna type up Katie. Okay, now we could go back, right? Uh, this game is pretty intense, and I I, and I don't even think that I'm, I'm halfway there yet. <sighs> it's not even working. I heard a voice once again. <laughs> Please let me in. Oh, it's Lin! Oh my gosh, okay, it's Lin. <laughs> uh, I have to go back upstairs once again, okay. Lin. Lin. Oh, there you go. Now we can go back. Oh, wait, I'm just gonna check this out. Because this is probably the tool room. You know, I don't, I don't wanna go downstairs and go back and, yeah. That's just a waste of time. Wow, that's a really nice graphic. But the game is pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> We're back downstairs. I'm getting bored, okay? But I don't know what to do. So are we supposed to go down there or here? <gasps> it opened! Oh gosh, I'm st uh, I need some lights, guys. Uh, I could hear a girl cry. I don't wanna play this game anymore. It's so dark! Oh gosh, she remembered Father's Day and drew me a big... Drew me a picture. I don't I don't understand her. She's just like her mother. She wants to waste time drawing pictures and we're barely able to find enough food to survive. No. 
I like drawing. Okay. I turned her crayons into candles. We need to we need more candles in case the generator goes out again and it helps break up the mon monotony, whatever that is. I yearn for the excitement of those first weeks. Is oh I see a hammer. Oh, under some blood. Oh that's gross. That's gross. Oh my gosh, and there's some more notes over here. There are things I've wanted to do for years. Desires I've kept locked in the back of my consciousness. It's been nearly a year since I've seen a woman and now I realize there's no practical reason to keep those desires locked up anymore. I I'm not liking this game at all, guys. Look at the sink, it's square. I'm assuming that this is the bathroom. And are we supposed to find something stuff? Oh, there's a note over here now. And there's a wrench over there. I changed the store room. I <laughs> store room. What, what the heck is the store room? I changed the storage room code to something I can easily remember. And then why? The rest of the world is missing. Lin. Yeah. Lin. L Y N N. Wow. So I have to go back upstairs once again. Oh my gosh. So it's N Y Y L. Can can I go down here? No, I can't. Uh, um, guys, you know what? I'm I'm gonna stop the um this episode right here. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like down below. If you guys would want to see me play the next episode, please subscribe. And as always, have a good day and goodbye. Okay, goodbye.